أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان اللعين الرجيم بفضل الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين بارئ الخلائق أجمعين باعث الأنبياء والمرسلين وخير الصلاة والسلام على سيدنا سيد الأنام وصفوة الأنبياء الكرام المحمود الأحمد أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين لا سيما بقية الله في الأراضين وحجته على العالمين الحجة ابن الحسن صلوات الله عليه واللعن على أعدائهم أبد الأبدين ودهر الداهرين السلام على عليك يا أبا عبد الله وعلى الأرواح التي حلت بفنائك عليك مني سلام الله أبدا ما بقيت وبقي الليل والنهار ولا جعله الله آخر العهد مني لزيارتكم السلام على الحسين وعلى علي بن الحسين وعلى أولاد الحسين وعلى أصحاب الحسين قال الله العظيم في كتابه بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم محمد رسول الله والذين معه أشداء على الكفار رحماء بينهم تراهم ركعا سجدا يبتغون فضلا من الله ورضوانا ذلك مثلهم في التوراة صدق الله العلي العظيم تهيس تندري أبيرنس فور بلابد إمام الإمام صاحب العصر والزمان بليز رسالة اللاوت صلوات على محمد وأهل محمد <تصفيق> It is very possible for every single one of us to help our beloved Imam, Al-Imam Al-Mahdi salam, as it was possible for every single individual in the era of Imam al Hussein to help him. Not only Kufians, but also Meccans, those who lived in Medina or elsewhere in Basra. The entire Islamic country or empire back then. <clears throat> Too many of them lost the chance to help him, to stand with him. And too many of them stood against him and killed him. Some historians mention that those who went to Karbala were more than 30,000 people. They had the whole army had 30,000 warrior and fighter, but they were more. There were almost 100,000 people who attended Karbala as a backup. But fighters who fought against Imam al Hussein alayhi salam, who had the sword and the spears and arrows in their hands, were around 30,000 people, and all of them were thirsty to shed the blood of Imam al Hussein. As Imam al Hassan al Mushtaba said, لا يوم كيومك يا أبا عبد الله يزدلف إليك ثلاثون ألفا كل يروم التقرب إلى الله بدمك. All of them wants to seek nearness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through shedding your holy blood. That's why <clears throat> no day is like the day of Ashura. That's why. <clears throat> so every single one of us is getting tested in this era, in the era of occultation. Whether we can prove ourselves that we can stand and to be with Imam al-Mahdi. Or the equation is otherwise. We will stand against Imam al-Mahdi. If we don't help him, we will be against him will be considered as people who are not with haq. وَمَا بَعْدَ الْحَقِّ إِلَّا الظَّلَالِ الْمُبِينَ If someone is not with haq, it doesn't mean that he's not barrel either. No. He's false. He's wrong. He's with batil. He is the batil. <clears throat> but how? Probably some of us see themselves at not, as not appropriate people 
to stand up and to be with Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salam. But this is wrong. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stands in Quran. قُلْ بِفَضْلِ اللَّهُ وَبِرَحْمَتِهِ فَبِذَلِكَ فَالْيَفْرَعُ You cannot rely upon your prayers, your ziyarat, your good deeds. No, you only have to rely upon Almighty God's mercy. The only thing that you have to do is the intention. وَأَنَّ الرَّاحِلَ إِلَيْكَ قَرِيبُ الْمَسَافَةِ Whoever intends to reach you, the distance between you, O Allah, and him is not long. It's very short distance. Azmu irada. In another <coughs> narration or supplication, Imam alayhi salam says, Azmu irada. <coughs> A single intention can take us all the way as the mi'raj of the Prophet take us to Almighty God, the sublime. <coughs> so don't say that I can't. I don't deserve to be with him. Do you think that we are worse than Hurr ibn Yazid in al Of course not. Of course not. We did not stop Imam al Hussein from going back to Medina. We did not <coughs> lead an army to fight against Imam al Hussein. We did not put the fears in the hearts of Hashemite, as Hur ibn Yazin al-Riyahi did. It was a huge, huge sin. Yet, we see that he was brave enough to go and ask for the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. Ali min tawbah, can I repent, O Aba Abdullah? Imam al Hussein alayhi salam replied, Naam, yatubu Allahu alayk. In shit. Yes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive you if you want to repent. So don't say that I don't deserve. No one's deserve. But Almighty God's mercy is so huge that can cover us all. Okay. Another misconception. <clears throat> Uh, probably only in this majlis we have more than 200 people attending or more. Can all of us be amongst Ashab al-Mahdi alayhi salam? Those who will stand for Imam al-Mahdi, yes. Okay, what about those narration that stayed? Imam al-Mahdi will have 313 soldiers. First of all, he will have 313 commanders. But he will have millions of soldiers. Second point, when we say that he has 313 soldiers, we mean that he needs that number to start his revolution. But you might be able to find, for instance, in his army, the same rank, somebody who shares the same rank with those 313 soldiers and commanders, while he's not commander. Because Imam al-Mahdi doesn't need more than that as commanders. But as a person, he has that brave heart and that level of faith and iman. No problem with that at all. But what we have to do, the first thing that we have to do is intention, is decision. We have to decide, brothers and sisters. And by the way, you know, Imam al-Mahdi has too many soldiers amongst ladies as well. As Imam Amir al-Mu'mineen had too many soldiers, those who used to serve his cause. As Imam al Hussein, who had too many soldiers in his army, even Sayyidur Raqayya, is considered one of Imam al-Hussein's soldiers. Even a baby, infant baby, can be considered as Imam al-Hussein's soldiers, like Ali al azhar <coughs> So don't say that I'm a kid, okay? Don't say that I'm a lady. I don't have to fight. No, it's not only about fighting. It's not only about fighting. Just imagine Karbala 
without Lady Zainab? What would happen to the tragedy and saga of Karbala without Lady Zainab? It would be totally dismissed and forgotten without Lady Zainab. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I ask brothers to come a little bit further front, so because people are uh, joining the majlis and they are struggling to enter the majlis. Rahimallah man dhakar al qa'im min ali Muhammad. جزاكم الله خير الجزاء to give our soul the chance to be considered as soldiers and helpers of Imam al-Mahdi please recite aloud salawat ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad <coughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states in the Quran محمد الرسول الله والذين معه أشداء على الكفار رحماء بينهم. Those who want to be with Imam Al Mahdi have to see and follow the footsteps of those who were with the Prophet, those who were with the Commander of the Faithful, Ali ibn Abi Talib, those who were with Imam Al Hussein عليه السلام. Usually we see also between ourselves. We don't show that love towards each other. Ruhama'u baynahum. Put aside, ashidda ala al-kuffar. No need for that now. I was needed back, few years back in Iraq, when I was invaded by ISIS, when brave people stood up and defended Iraq and holy cities. A humanity and human beings. May Allah's peace be upon them. Ruhama'u bainahum. Tarahum rukya'an sujjadan. You can see them prostrating, praying. You want to be with the Mount Mahdi? You want to be amongst those who will be considered as soldiers of Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salam, taraahum rukka'an sujjata. Yeah. Where? In their homes? No. They have to try to come to mosques to pray in congregational prayers. Yabtagoona fadlan min Allahi wa ridwana. What is their intention? Their intention is to get the pleasure of Allah, to please Allah, nothing more, nothing less. Not that they are go, they go and pray and fast and do good deeds so people can see them as very pious people, okay? Slaves of God. No, not to gain reputation in the community. Rather, they only want to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It was very easy for Imam al-Hasan al-Mushtaba to fight against Muawiyah. He even faced resistance of some of his soldiers and companions. Why? Because they wanted to fight against Muawiyah. But what Imam al-Hasan salam did was the best for the nation, for his followers. So Imam al-Hasan wasn't trying to gain a title that this person is a brave person, is a warrior, is a gladiator. No, at all. Rather, he was trying to serve the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to be a slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to do whatever is necessary to protect the nation, to protect his followers. So he did. And that's why... Some of our narrations, we have that what Imam al-Hasan did was the best for his followers. For innocent people. So, يَبْتَغُونَ فَضْلًا مِنَ اللَّهِ وَرِضْوَانًا Al-Imam al-Baqir alayhi salam told Jabir al-Ju'fi, O Jabir, 
don't say that you follow us as Shia while you don't have piety. You're not pious. مَا شِيَعَتُنَا إِلَّا مَنِ اتَّقَ اللَّهِ Those who fear Allah are our followers. You know Shia, the word Shia in Arabic literature, it means those who follow, followers. So if you want to follow Ahlul Bayt, you have to be like them, pious like them. Of course, we can't reach their status as the commander of the faithful, Ali ibn Abi Talib says, لا يقاس بآل محمد أحد There is no comparison between the progeny of the Prophet and any one. Anyone. You can't make any comparison. But at least we have to follow them. As Imam Ali alayhi salam says in Nahj al ألا وإن إمامكم قد اكتفى من دنيا بن دنيا بطمريه. Two shirts can suffice him. Two bread can suffice him. And I know that you can't be like me, but at least help me. أعينوني how بورع واجتهاد. Try to be pious. Try to try your best. Okay. Don't suffer, but try your best. وعفتين was said, I try to know and understand what is right and do the right thing. And then Imam Ali Salam al Baqir said, You know that there is no relationship between Almighty God and any human being. As once Imam Zain al Abidin said, one of his companions saw Imam Al Zain al Abidin doing tawaf around the Kaaba and crying. And reading dua and weeping and falling down on the ground, prostrating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He went to Imam Zayl and started to cry. He said, What you are doing to yourself, O oh my master? Aren't you the progeny of the Prophet? Imam Sajjad replied to him, Well, Yes, we are the progeny of the Prophet, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, فَلَا أَنْسَابَ بَيْنَ إِذِنْ يَوْمَهُمْ بَيْنَهُمْ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ لَا أَنْسَابَ بَيْنَهُمْ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not consider any relationship in the day of judgment. He will only look at our faith and our deeds. My time is on. Fortunately, Inshallah, we'll continue our discussion in the next night. Bihawlillah wa quwwatih. Hada wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala muhammadin wa alihi al-tahirin.